The 7,932nd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. The U.S. Secretary of State made his U.N. debut Friday, delivering a strong warning to North Korea that, in his words, all options remain on the table. Diplomatic and financial levers of power will be backed up by a willingness to counteract North Korean aggression with military action, if necessary. We much prefer a negotiated solution to this problem, but we are committed to defending ourselves and our allies against North Korean aggression. Tillerson said the U.S. would apply intensified pressure on North Korea, including new international sanctions, but he insisted that the U.S. does not want regime change. He added that talks would not happen before Pyongyang takes concrete steps to dismantle its nuclear weapons program. We will not reward their bad behavior with talks. We will only engage in talks with North Korea when they exhibit a good faith commitment to abiding by the Security Council resolutions and their past promises to end their nuclear programs. President Donald Trump has called on China to help resolve the crisis, but China's foreign minister appeared to try to lower expectations of Beijing. China is not a focal point of the problem on the peninsula, and the key to solving the nuclear issue on the peninsula does not lie in the hands of the Chinese side. China has, over the years, made unremitting efforts and played a unique role in promoting a negotiated solution of the... He echoed Tillerson's call for Pyongyang to end its nuclear and ballistic missile activities and return to international commitments. He also called on other parties to constructively work for the denuclearization of the peninsula. South Korea sent its foreign minister to lobby council members to ratchet up the pressure, warning of Pyongyang's growing capability and intent to use its weapons. In order to avoid this nightmarish scenario, we must act now. We are racing against time. The pressure is now on the international community to implement existing sanctions, including the toughest ones adopted last year. New Security Council sanctions are unlikely anytime soon unless North Korea conducts another nuclear test or a significant ballistic missile launch. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations.